Okay, so bear with me. We're going to talk about domain and range. And just, I want you to see these graphs for a second. Let's say I gave you something like the graph did this. And then over here, the graph did this. And I want you to compare that with, and this is the best way I can teach domain and range. And I hope it makes sense to you. So if you want to put these, well, let's not do that. Let's make it a little bit more obvious. If you want to draw these so you can see, we're just talking about domain right now. Domain is numbers on the x-axis. Okay. So, on a graph, just so you know, and you can put this on your in your note cards or wherever you want to, because it probably will help you. If this is my graph, this is considered negative infinity as it goes that way. This is considered positive infinity as it goes that way. This is considered negative infinity down here as we go that way. And this is considered positive infinity as we go that way. Does that make sense? Doesn't this line go forever this way? And by forever, that means it goes all the way for infinity, forever and ever nonstop, which means it goes to positive infinity that way. Up is positive infinity and down is negative infinity. Doesn't that make sense? So look at this graph right here. Okay. Let's start here. Do you see how this graph keeps going to the left forever and ever and ever and ever and ever? I mean, I understand it's going up, but isn't it getting wider to the left also forever? Yes. Okay. So it's going to go all the way over to negative infinity. You agree with that? So domain, you always read from left to right. So you don't have to write this down yet. I just want to show you. I gave you this example for a reason. So if I'm looking, okay, this graph, I, I get the fact that it keeps going, it keeps going to the left forever, right? So if I start all the way over as far as I can, okay, if I look at this X at number on the X-axis, okay, if I followed it up, would it hit the graph? If I looked at this number on the X-axis, if I followed it up, would it hit the graph? If I looked at this one, would it hit the graph? If I did this one, would it hit the graph? If I did this one, is it going to hit the graph anywhere? No. So do you see that there's a gap from here to here on the x-axis where there's no graph? Mm -hmm. There's a gap there. But look over here on the next one. Okay? If I start way uh, let's go. If I start way out here. Is this if I pick this number, if I followed it up, would it eventually hit the graph? What about all of these numbers? Doesn't it keep getting wider forever? As I come to the, my right, aren't all of these always going to hit the graph? Even here, it's not go up, but if I go down, will I hit the graph? Is there any gap in this graph whatsoever? From going this way, going this way. Here, there was this gap between the graphs. You understand that? Here, is there any any gap in the graph ever? Or is it one continuous graph that just does this forever? So my domain, in this case, it's going, it starts at negative infinity because it keeps going. So my domain on this graph would be from negative infinity and it doesn't stop. Okay, every single number on my x-axis is going to hit the graph. So it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Does that make sense? That's not the case, and you're not going to see a graph like this right now, but that's not the case here, okay? In this case, the graph goes to negative infinity, so it starts at negative infinity, but then it stops. Where did it stop? It stopped right here. It stopped at negative 2, right? Yeah. But since it was a closed circle, it includes negative 2. But then am I done or did the graph pick up again? It picked up again, so we have to use this U. And where did it where on the x-axis did the graph start again? At one. 
but the open circle means I'm not including it. That's why I use a parenthesis. And then does the graph go forever to the right? So it would go forever to positive infinity. So that would be the domain here. And I'm just throwing that to you. We're not going to use that yet. That's going to come later. So if I go to, let's say I had this graph here. And it's a parabola. And let's say this was my graph. Okay. Is there, look along the x-axis. Look along this entire x-axis here. Is there any gap in the graph? No. No. Um, so whenever there's no gap in the graph along the x-axis, that just tells you your domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. And I'm going to tell you right now, every single graph, every parabola, every quadratic that we graph, that will always be the domain. So half your work is done. But there's a tricky part. If the x has a term, it's the domain, then the y has to have a term. And the y is called the range. And here's where we have some issues. So you notice how we were, we were marking along the x-axis to see if eventually it would hit the graph, right? Okay. We have to do the same thing for the y-axis for range. And there's some problems here. Yeah. Is it ever possible to have a line direct? What if I did this? What if I gave you this one? It's going to be a little bit different, at least range-wise. It's a frowning face. So my domain, has my domain changed? Is there any gaps in the graph? No. So my domain is still negative infinity to positive infinity. But look at my range. Is this graph going to keep going down forever? Yes. Down forever. So if I drew a line across y-axis way down here, would it eventually hit the graph? Yes. What about down here? Yeah. What about down here? So what about negative infinity? If, I could, if this was negative infinity way down here, if I drew a line, would it eventually hit the graph? Yes. yes. So my range starts at a negative infinity. And does all of... Why, why, does it, why does it start? There? Because you always start at the low and go high. Oh. Just like on domain, you always start left and go right. Okay? Now, all of these y values are going to hit the graph. You agree with that? Yep. Yep, hits a graph, 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 hits the graph right there. Does this hit the graph? No. So what's the last y value to hit the graph? One, two, three, four. So four was the last y value to hit the graph. Okay? That's domain and range. That's the only thing I'm adding right now for the quiz tomorrow. Okay. So your homework is you're going to graph, you're going to find the vertex, you're going to find the x-intercepts, you're going to graph it, and you're going to give me domain and range. Okay? So number one, y equals, let's go x squared, let's go plus 2x, subtract 15. Okay, number two, y equals a negative x squared plus x plus six. Nope, I lied. Don't want to do that to you. Let's go plus 4x plus five. And then you guys get started on that one because I'm going to pause this and come up with a number one work number one you're going to find the vertex find the vertex that's horrible so let me rewrite that 
find the vertex. And that's when you go x is equal to a negative b over 2a. Number two, you're going to find the x-intercepts. And by that, you're going to factor. Number three, you're going to graph. And number four, you're going to find the domain and the range. And that's what you're going to do. Okay.